Hey, it's Penny with 40 something and fabulous. Today it's another every plate unboxing. We have been super happy with everything so far. Tonight is going to be uh, cheesy Tuscan chicken with roasted broccoli and herb potatoes. This box contains sweet ponzu beef balls, roasted bell pepper flatbreads, some of which were chosen by my boy, creamy lemon herb chicken. I chose all of these, didn't I? I think so. With roasted sweet potatoes and green beans. So I think I'm most excited about the sweet ponzu beef bowl. That sounds really good. It's kind of Korean inspired it looks or really Korean. Good. Um, I'm not really sure what ponzu sauce is. So, again, we'll find out. super. Uh, if you're going to talk to, you need to be over here on camera. You can edit that out later. Okay, so I'm going to pull our box out. It has most of the goodies in it. I actually don't mind. I think in the beginning um, with my very first box, I said that I really liked the way HelloFresh uh, had it in individual bags. So all you had to do was pull the whole bag out and you had everything. But I really don't mind this because I can just sit this right in the fridge and um, pull it out when I need to pull stuff out of it and then stick it back in when I'm done. So we have our... You know what? I'm going to go through this first. <clears throat> okay, for the Ponzu beef bowls, we have scallions, a lime, yellow onion, which is super small, um, what else? A bunch of, they didn't close up the bag on, oh, you know what? Here's another onion. So I'm gonna be using both of those onions. We like a lot of onion though, so. Cream cheese, hmm. Usually the bag is sealed up and uh, this time it's all spilled out into the box, which is not a huge deal, as long as nothing got crushed or whatever. But it's like all the sauces are all down in there. Huh. There's another little onion, look. Okay, what else do I need? Um, hopefully they sent the wasabi paste because there's another recipe that needs the wasabi. The carrots, which there's two carrots. White rice. Oh, it's over here in this bag. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna unbox everything. How's that? and then we'll figure out if we have everything. Uh, mozzarella cheese, possibly Parmesan, I don't know. Green beans, red bell peppers for the pizza. There's another lime, a lemon. What is this? Persian cucumber. They're very tiny. Then here's uh, more onions. That's the one I picked up a while ago. And then sweet potatoes. And then two uh, big bulbs of garlic. And then all the sauces and stuff. Okay, so I'm actually gonna put all my produce back into the box. We've got our sweet potatoes, which go with the creamy lemon herb chicken. The lemon also does, garlic, um, green beans. I'm excited to try this one. Sweet potatoes, I already put those in. <laughs> uh, and parsley, which is probably in this bag. Sour cream is in there and chicken stock is in there. So we've got everything, uh, well, I need to check on the parsley, but the lemon, uh, creamy lemon herb chicken. Then the roasted bell pepper flatbread, we have it 
says flatbreads, but there's no, unless it's down in here still. Oh, it is. Ha ha. Got four of those. Uh, tomato paste. I saw that in there. Uh, cream cheese was in there as well. Bell pepper. Two bell peppers. These are a little mushy. So, not mushy, but they're um, starting to like wrinkle up a little bit. So we're probably going to make that tomorrow night. Uh, shredded mozzarella. Oh, this is a shallot. I almost said, could this be a shallot? I've never worked with shallots. So um, I know they're very similar to onion. Um, but that was my first thought when I saw it. But okay. And then garlic. And I may have gar I may need garlic for the other one as well. I do, but I've got plenty of garlic. This one, uh, this last recipe calls for six cloves of garlic, but I have garlic left over from my other box. So we're good. Um, on this one, we've got the onion, scallions, lime, uh, carrots, Persian cucumber, And that's probably a shallot too, since it's kind of funky and small. So um, now I'm gonna check the sauces. I'm gonna set this in the fridge. Actually, I'm gonna set it aside right now because I gotta pull my meat out as well. Chicken breast, they're wet. I hope, I hope that's just from the, ugh. I hope that's just from the um, ice pack that's in there with it. I'm gonna put that on a napkin. Uh, two packs of ground beef. Oh, and I have no meat for the pizza. Okay, I was gonna say I'm missing a thing of meat, but I am not as for the for the pizza. So looks like we have all of that. Now, as far as sauces go, I'm gonna put the rice in here so I don't go. They did send the parsley. Here's a bunch of ponzu sauces. Let's see how many I end up needing for that recipe. I kind of wish those were in bigger packs rather than a bunch of little ones. Not really entirely. Oh, they did send the wasabi this time. Yay. Yeah. I was hoping. <laughs> Let's see, chicken stock. Catch, uh, tomato paste for the pizza. Uh, Tuscan heat spice, mayo, mayo, and sour cream and cream cheese. Okay, so cream cheese we got, Tuscan heat spice. I'm supposed to have two of those and I only have one. I hope that's enough. It's for the flatbread. Probably won't be. Uh, the cream cheese, bell peppers in the other thing, the mozzarella's in the other thing, shallot and garlic, okay. And then we have the rye, okay, I'm just looking. The wasabi paste for the beef bowls, mayonnaise, ponzu sauce, it says eight of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And what do I need chicken stock for? Let me see, did I, oh, next, next recipe. Chicken stock, parsley. I missed the tomato paste on the pizzas. And sour cream, did I already throw that back in there? I did. Okay, I was thinking I need sour cream for something else. Okay, so that's what we got going on. I'm excited to try these. Um, I only got that one because my son suggested it, so hopefully he loves it because me and his dad are not gonna be big fans, I can already tell you. Um, we'll like it probably, but I don't think it would be a do-over for us. These two, I'm super excited to try. They look delish. Again, this has been super easy. I love the fact that it comes to the door. It actually got here right in time for dinner time today, um, although I am making something else tonight. So 
Um, but that's cool. And if you'd like to try your own every plate box, uh, there's a referral link down below. You can do uh, meals for two people uh, for two or three nights, I believe. Or you could do for four, a family of four, for two nights, three nights, two nights or three nights. And um, the one for two people, I think you could do for four and five nights as well. I think it was three, four, and five nights for the for the two uh, person box. So um, give me a comment below if you've ever tried every plate or if you would like to try every plate on my uh, referral link, let me know how you liked it. I'm excited. You guys, um, those of you who are YouTubers yourself, do a video and uh, share with me. That would be awesome, okay. Thanks for watching.